Well, what a difference two weeks makes. On August 12th, the Pacers announced an extension for their head coach, Nate McMillan. Then today, the move to fire him after four seasons, a complete 180 and change of direction. Now, McMillan's firing comes less than 48 hours after the Pacers were swept in the first round of the playoffs for the second consecutive year. Overall, during McMillan's time at the helm, the Pacers were solid in the regular season, at least 42 wins in each of those seasons, and they never missed the playoffs. But once they got there, they struggled a not pretty 3-16 and record during the postseason. Now, it is worth noting McMillan has had to navigate some big injuries to his key guys over the years. Last year, it was the centerpiece, Victor Oladipo, after he went down midway through the season with a devastating quad injury. Then this year, Oladipo was still working his way back from that injury. And then the big blow in the bubble, losing the Pacers' other all-star, DeMontis Sabonis, to a foot issue. So circumstances have not been kind to Nate McMillan, that's for sure. But at the end of the day, this is the NBA, and in this league, results matter. I want to show you the statement President Kevin Pritchard released today. Quote, this was a very hard decision for us to make, but we feel this is in the best interest of the organization to move in a different direction. Nate and I have been through the good times and the bad times, and it was an honor to work with him for those 11 years in Indiana and Portland. So now as the Pacers begin their offseason, so too does the search for a new head coach. Kevin Pritchard says it begins immediately. So whenever the next NBA season does begin, that is still to be determined. We do know there will be a new head coach leading this team inside this building. For now, from outside Bankers Life Fieldhouse, Taylor Tannenbaum, Channel 13.